Hi everybody, I'm back to share the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. I am on week number four. Sorry about my nails, I have not had a chance to do them. And I do know they look terrible, but anyway, let's get started. So this week I decided to do a new accordion fold album. And what I mean by accordion albums is like this one here. It's made of cardstock and it is an accordion fold. These are the photo mats. There's pockets here with extra tags. Another nice area for a photo, a corner pocket, more tags. Flips like this and then it flips like this. Okay, so and then it can sit like this. Okay, so it looks like an accordion. This one is made from one sheet. Well, the, the base of it is made from one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock and it measures 6 by 4. So I wanted to do a little bit different measurement and I didn't want to use a 12 by 12 sheet because I have a lot of paper. Let me get it out. I have a lot of this paper, which is the 11 and a half or 11 by eight and a half. So what I did was I cut it four inches this way, four inches this way. So you've got two pages out of it. And then I left it at 11, which I'll show you. Okay. And the paper I used to make this accordion album is the Trick or Treat stack from the Paper Studio. I think it has the cutest bright colored papers. I just love it. So that's the paper I use. And my album is not fully decorated at all, but I really, really wanted to get this started for you guys. So I will go back in and decorate it later. Plus the tutorial is basically going to be putting the base of this album together and creating the pockets and giving you some mat sizes. So I didn't think I really needed to get into the decorating, but I have a ribbon closure here and then I have some paper clips with ribbon on the top. Now, if you're not sure how to make these little ribbon paper clips, I will post a link below this video. I, I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial on these that you could um, follow if you'd like. The ribbon that I used is, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby um, last year on clearance. And it's a spider web print. And it's from Halloween Crafts. Okay, so my ribbon, uh, this album, when you complete it, measures five and a half inches across by four inches high. Okay, so this is my front cover. And just open it up. And it flips open this way. And I have a corner pocket here. I'll show you how to make. And then I have one of my clips here holding in. I really didn't need the clips to hold in the tags or the mats. They stay in the pockets really nice. But I just thought this added a little bit to the album. And like I said, I have not decorated my pages. And really, if you don't want to decorate your pages, you don't have to. You know, you can just put your photo on there. But I like to decorate mine up in the pockets. So I'll go back and do that then. But And then it just flips like this. These aren't decorated. And then we're going to have a, a little side pocket here with more there's more tags here and then flips like that that's the back cover and when we put our ribbon on it wraps around the back here but it doesn't you don't adhere it underneath so that you can flip it open this way so here's another corner pocket and a bottom pocket on this one which we'll create and the really nice thing about this too is you could do this for any holiday or any occasion. So we're going to just do the base. I'll come back later and show you how I finished this up and decorated it. 
but for right now let's just get started on the base and I'll give you some measurements and then we'll do the pockets and I'll show you how to put the ribbon on for the ribbon closure okay so let's get started it's gonna be kind of a long video the ribbon that I used for the, my closure is about 26 to 27 inches long and you're gonna need that because it's gonna wrap around and then at the end you're gonna to want to create a bow okay so about 26 27 inches long you are going to need three sheets of cardstock that measure four inches by 11 and then you're going to want to line them up on your scoreboard and score at five and a half inches and then when you fold them in half just make sure you really line them up it's very important because we're going to be using paper shims to put them together and you want your pages to be even you don't want them to go wonky on you and be you know a little off so just make sure when you fold them they're flush on this side and they're flush on that side okay so you'll need three of these and then you're going to need two like I said paper shims the paper shims since the pages here are four inches I did them a little bit longer um, I did them at four and a quarter by one inch because when I'm putting these together I like a little bit on the edge so I don't have to worry about you know lining it up perfect and then I just trim them off okay so you'll need two paper shims you want to line it up at the one inch mark score it in half at the half inch and then you're going to take them and fold them in half and this one I've already added my tape to the inside I'm going to add some double sided tape here So sorry I hope I didn't make you guys dizzy now I'm stuck on my <laughs> now I have tape stuck on me and I have to fix my camera I'm so sorry about that I bumped it okay let's try this again oh there we go hopefully we won't bump it again and I'm gonna unstick my skin not the first time I have knocked over my camera and I'm sure it will not be the last okay so you're gonna add tape double-sided tape you could use glue but I find when you use liquid glue on paper shims sometimes they can get a little warped so it's better to use double-sided tape and when you put your tape on, you do not want to go all the way into that fold with your tape. You want to stay away from that because that fold part is going to be on the edge of your album and you don't want tape on there. It's going to get really bulky and sticky. Okay. And then I didn't go all the way to the edge here, but that's okay because once it adheres to my page, I'm going to cover it with mats these mats here so it's going to go over top and really hold that down secure anyway so we have two paper shims four and a quarter by one inch and then three sheets that measure 11 by four scoring at five and a half so let's get started putting it together get a little confused sometimes when I'm putting my accordion albums together but basically you're gonna want all of your column peaks and valleys your peaks you're gonna want this way your valleys you're gonna want to put together and right in here we're gonna put our shims okay so put this one aside we're gonna create this one first and it looks like an M Okay, your peaks are like mountains and your little valleys here. So you want to put those two pieces together 
open it back up, flip it around, and make sure these two edges are completely flush with each other on the sides and the top. I'm going to get my tweezers and I'm going to take the bottom piece off first. And I kind of bend mine a little bit to make sure they're really nice and flush together. And pop that one on. And I just kind of fold it over the paper. Pull that one off, fold it down. I'm going to run my bone folder over it to make sure it's really secure. And then I'm going to open that up. The two ends might stick together a little bit, um, so you might have to pop those open. But then you're going to want to cut that little bit of excess off. And like I said, I'd rather have a little excess that I don't have to really, really worry about getting it completely perfect on the sides. That's just too much stress for me. I like to keep it simple, so I make my shims a little bit longer. Okay, so now we have our first set together. We're going to want to add the next set together. So your peaks are at the top, your valleys are here. These two pieces are going to go together. Make sure they're really nice and flush together like this. Okay. Before I put those together, I'm going to peel off one of the sides of the shims. Let's put these together again. After you get the hang of these, they're so fun to make. Kind of get addicting. They're great. They make great gifts for uh, family and friends. For your, um, you know, they're great for your swaps. And they're wonderful gifts like stocking stuffers and, okay, I'm sorry. My hands are, I'm all like thumbs today. Okay, so I'm going to wrap that around. Oh, did that backwards. Doesn't really matter. Flip it up, pull that piece off, make sure they're flush again, and fold that down. And then we're going to take our bone folder or whatever you have that's flat, which you can run across. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then open it up and trim off the excess. So now you have your base for the album pretty much put together. It's super simple. And now we just have to put our ribbon closure on and cover it with the mats. So when you open these up, you want your flap, you want your, your peak to be on your left side because you want your flap to open this way. So you have a flap, then this is together where we put our shim together, and then your last flap, and then it opens this way. Okay? So the mats you're going to need, I'm just going to do one mat for now, but you're going to need 12 of these because it creates 12 pages. So you're going to need 12 mats that measure 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Before you put your front cover mat down, you're going to want to put your ribbon on here. Okay. So set this aside, join your ribbon at the ends, find your middle, wrap it around your album, and you want to make it center in your page here. Flip it open, and what I do is put some double-sided tape down in the center so that the ribbon stays nice and secure under my paper. And notice I don't go all the way to the edge. It's 
not really necessary because you're going to have your mat laying down there. Okay. Let me make sure these are pretty even here. And by my center. And I'm going to push down. And then I also like to just put a little piece of tape on the ribbon itself there so that when I put my mat on it secures really nicely to the ribbon. If I can peel the paper off. Come on! There we go. Okay. This part you do not adhere to this because you want your album to be able to open. The only place you adhere it is to the front of the album. Okay? So now we're ready to put our mat on, which I said measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I measured it so that it would leave like a one eighth of an inch border, black border around the front cover. Okay, so then when you're all done decorating and you're ready to close it up, all you have to do is tie these two pieces together and put your bow. But now just remember, when you go to put your back mat your mat on the back of your cover, do not adhere this ribbon. Let this hang loose so that you just lay it over and tie your bow. Okay? Do not put it underneath your last mat or it won't work out for you. Just like this one I have here. I have it in the front and it just wraps around the back. It's not adhered underneath. Okay? All right, so then the rest of your album is ready to mat up. You're just gonna mat up the whole thing, both sides. I already have a lot of my papers out, but I'm not gonna go through all of that. It would just take too long and you get the gist of it anyway. So I'm gonna set the album aside and share with you how to create the pockets. So for this corner pocket here, I used a piece of cardstock that measures three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And anytime you make a corner pocket, you just want to make sure it's the same size square. So you can do a four inch square, five inch square, because you're going to be cutting this on a, a diagonal and you'll get actually get two pockets out of one piece. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Let me move these albums. get my cutter out. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to take this point and line it up on your cut line and this point. Line it up on your cut line. And then cut them. Sorry, to create two triangles. Okay. Then, you're going to get your scoreboard out. That's going to give you two pockets. So you want to line it up, put your corner in your scoreboard, and you want to score it at a half an inch, and then flip it, score it at a half an inch again, and then we're going to fold our score lines. Okay. So now you're left with see if I can do this without knocking my camera over. You're left with this little square here and your two score lines. You're going to want to cut that little square off. Okay. Fold one side down. Now this is where I use a little bit of liquid glue. Put 
a little bit of liquid glue on this side and close that flap down. It should look something like this. Okay, this is actually your pocket and this part is going to go down onto your page, which you'll see in a second. What you want to do is flip it back around and cut off, I call them little fox, it looks like a little fox, right? It's got little fox ears, you want to cut off the fox ears. Just trim those off. And you've just created your corner pocket. And then when you go to lay it down in your album, you want to put adhesive just on these flaps here. And then lay it down, and then you have a pocket. Okay, so now to mat it, I just took a piece of scrap paper and I put it in the corner here. And I left about a quarter of an inch, if you can see, quarter of an inch here and here. I'm going to pinch it, clip, flip it around, and I'm going to trim off. Just follow my pocket line, trim that off. Flip it back around, it should look like that. And then all I'm going to do is pull down a little bit. And I have a really nice, once you line it up, quarter of an inch border all the way around. So I am going to glue that onto my pocket. I like to use my tweezers for this part so I can really see what I'm doing, try and make it even, and that's pretty much how, whoop, pretty much how I mat my corner pockets. So like I said, that piece, that measurement will give you two, so you can create two of those with that. So we're done with the corner pockets, now we want to create this let me get the album out. We want to create um, this one right here, the side one. So for the side one, the measurements I used were five inches long by two and a half. You're going to line it up in your scoreboard at the two and a half mark. And you're going to score a half an inch. You're going to flip it to its side, line it up at the five inches, score a half inch on this side, then turn it around again, and a half inch on this side. Oops. Okay. So you're basically scoring this edge, this edge, and the bottom. So we're going to fold up our score lines. Now when I create my bottom pockets or side pockets, when you have three flaps, I'll, I'll show you in a second. You have these two little square corners, you're going to want to cut those off. I'm just going to give you a little tip about when you put your pocket together. Some people put the bottom flap down and glue the side flaps in. But when this is glued to your page and you go to slide this in, it sometimes can get stuck on that bottom flap. So just a little tip, fold your sides in first and your bottom flap on top. That way it creates a little like pocket underneath here so your tags will slide behind that um, more easily okay so fold the two flaps in put a little bit of glue on this edge a little bit of glue here push it up and you want to hold that really well now we just created our side pocket when you go to add this to your album, you just want to put glue here, here, and here. Do not put it in here because that's your pocket, and then lay it down on your page. So for the um, 
the actual mat size that I used for this one is three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Let me make sure. Yes. Three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths inches. Gonna mat that up and then we have one pocket left. Front of our pocket, back, just put adhesive on the flaps here and add it to your album. Okay, last pocket, this is the long bottom pocket. So the bottom pocket you're going to want to measure six and a half inches long by two and a half. Line it up on your scoreboard at the six and a half inch. And we're going to do the same thing. Score a half inch on this side, flip it over to the other side, score a half inch on this side, then line it up at the two and a half and score a half inch all the way down. Fold up your score lines. Again, we're going to cut these two little corners off. And fold in your sides first. Keep your bottom flap open and just put a little glue on the edge here and here and fold it up. Smooth it out. I like to hold it a little bit here. Okay, so we've just created our very long pocket that goes on the bottom of the page. And remember, just put your adhesive on the flaps only. And then the mat that I have for this one is five and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And put glue on this one. I think I have a video, uh, another video on how to um, create some pockets. I'll try to post that below with along with the. Um, the ribbon clips if you guys want to learn how to make those and I'll, I'll, I'll also post a link to this size accordion album if you want to know how to create the base for this. This is the 6x4. And then it'll all be down, down below waiting for you. So that's it. Now we have our bottom pocket which was see where I put that one I put that over here that was this one right here okay so that's it guys I hope you like the album it's super simple very easy to make you can make a ton of these up and give them away as gifts and or just use them for yourself for your family photos you know going trick-or-treating this year you don't need a whole huge album for trick-or-treat but there's going to be plenty of real estate here for you to add your spooky cute photographs with. Alright, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.